A weary ocean traveler returns to the shores of an island paradise. For millennia, great oceanic currents have brought visiting giants to these magical shores. An island where deep sea leviathans roam close to land. One of the greatest oceanic shows on Earth. But why are so many of these great sea creatures drawn to this island? In the Indian Ocean, the island of Sri Lanka stands as a crossroads for all kinds of migrating marine life. Just off the coast is one of the world's biggest gatherings of the largest predator alive. The sperm whale. Nomads of the sea, they're almost continuously on the move. Prospectors returning from a world where the sun's rays cannot penetrate. After as long as an hour in the deep, they return to the surface to breathe. Before they dive again, they fertilize the surface. To save energy in the depths, they shut down their non-critical organs, and that includes the ability to defecate. This is one of the only ways that nutrients locked in the world below are returned to life near the top. In the expanse of the open ocean, their most stable reference points are each other. Here off the coast of Sri Lanka, they gather in numbers. Superpods, some of the largest seen anywhere in the oceans. Diving down to over two kilometers, they grapple with giant squid in the depths. These are hungry hunters. Each one of them can eat around a ton of food per day. It's thought that they can stun their prey by producing some of the loudest sounds of any living creature. But their life in the world below, where the pressure would crush a human, has never been filmed and remains a mystery. Somehow, the rich waters of Sri Lanka can satisfy the appetites of so many visiting giants. Circling this island is an ocean like no other, all thanks to a unique combination of natural and geological quirks. She is one of five species of sea turtle that are born on these shores. The moment she's waited 20 years for is near.
She spent the years riding the currents of the deep ocean. But now she must gain strength. So she's returned to the sun-drenched shallows, more fruitful than the open water. Grazing on seagrass and weeds, whipped up by the waves. Our science has no idea how, but she knows exactly the beach to which she must return. The beach she was born on. And on which she will lay her eggs. A transitional no man's land between the sea and the coast. Their leaves have special glands which secrete salt crystals, allowing the trees to cope with the water from the encroaching tides. Rising out of the waterlogged swamp floor, Roots reach from the earth like dead men's fingers. Below the surface, mangroves are vital nurseries for young fish. The roots providing protection from predators. But with so much competition, one mangrove specialist has developed an extraordinary way of getting a bite to eat. It begins with his dual action eyes. The bottom part of his eye is used for living down in the murky brown water. But on top, his eyes are suited for spying into the world above. presses his tongue down against a groove at the bottom of his mouth, forming a gun barrel. And he fires. He misses. He doubles back and lines up again. For a young archer fish, it can take a few attempts to get his prey. He has to learn to judge distortions and reflections in the water. Amazingly, the archer can produce a watery arrow that is up to six times stronger than his muscle power. Hunters arrive. Tuna. The schools dart out of the way of the predators. Thousands of shimmering bodies try to confuse the hunters. The schools pulse in one coordinated move. But the tuna are themselves in danger from above. For these fishermen, the big money 
is in Tuna, if they can find them. They're impossible to spot from the surface, but the fishermen are guided by the ocean's greatest acrobats. Spinner dolphin are often found swimming alongside schools of tuna. Superpods of thousands of dolphins congregate on the country's coast. Young calves cling to their mother's sides. Spinner dolphins live up to their name, rotating spectacularly as they leap meters out of the water. They start attempting it from an early age, but it's an acquired skill. Why spinners spin is a mystery. Some think it's for communication. Others believe it removes parasites stuck to the dolphin's skin. But perhaps it's just because they can. These huge gatherings of dolphins are some of the largest anywhere. But with overfishing by local and Indian fishermen, they may be a shadow of what they once were. The monsoon rains leave rich pickings in their wake. Like a gold rush, everyone prospects the beach. The daily catch brings egrets. Slyly, they bide their time, waiting for the right moment to steal a bite. But some still prefer to catch their own. In the lagoons, flocks of cormorants dive for fish. Working in small groups, they drive a school together. Breaking the bones of his catch helps it to slip down. But if he's not quick enough, he'll lose his meal to thieves. Most water birds have feathers that repel water, but not the cormorant. It makes him an excellent diver, although his feathers do need to be hung out to dry. Flocks of cormorants, egrets, and painted storks gather in large, excited breeding colonies. When food is abundant, it's the safest time to raise a family. For their neighbor, the white-bellied sea eagle, it's also time to nest. These graceful flyers mate for life. Each year, acrobatic flights in unison renew the pair's bonds. These heavy birds are the largest on the island and can reach up to four and a half kilos. So finding a tree suitable for the whole family isn't easy. A sacred fig tree, towering above the cultivated land, has been allowed to survive. It makes a perfect roost. 
They've used the same nest, now a huge pile of sticks, year after year. The pair have a six-week-old chick. As he's got older, they're leaving longer and longer gaps between bringing him meals, perhaps to entice him into the air. He's yet to be fed today, but his parents seem to have other concerns. Eagles don't like monkeys, and the feeling is mutual. Crows and eagles tend not to get on too well either. The sacred tree is home to all sorts. And some residents, like palm squirrels, make happy neighbors. The same can't be said for crows. Crows will mob the eagles relentlessly. They see the predators as a threat. The truth is, the white-bellied sea eagle survives almost entirely on food caught at sea. The white belly of the adults blurs with the bright sky as they descend on their prey. From below, it's rendered invisible. not quite ready. At last, fresh fish. But after being kept hungry for so long, a peck on Dad's leg shows his frustration. In a few more weeks, he could be fishing for his own dinner. Our expectant mother knows her time has come. Hauling herself up beyond the reaches of the waves. On land, her flippers are cumbersome. She was born on this beach. And now she's returned to lay eggs of her own. Like all the species of sea turtle that survive today, her kind have existed for 110 million years. Tonight she continues a ritual performed by her ancestors. This scene has played out since prehistory. She carefully buries her clutch. Her eggs must remain dry. They'll remain underneath the sand for seven weeks. And she returns to the waves. Different species use the same beaches. 
life goes full circle within just a few moments. While one species is laying, another is hatching. An eager olive ridley sea turtle is the first of her siblings to break the surface. They've remained buried for several weeks. They've waited until the sand cooled and they knew it was night. Soon she's joined by her brothers and sisters and the sand is a writhing mass of baby turtles. They know instantly which way to head. Perhaps it's the slope of the sand or a faint glow of white on breaking waves. But somehow they sense the sea. Only a few centimeters in size, they face a migration before they reach the water. An exhausting start to life. Forced to rest after every few steps, they're in a race against the sun. It may be, during her crawl down the beach, the hatchling sets an internal compass, imprinting the location of her home. <laughs> 